What's up, Guam? I'm Dave Delgado. Welcome to KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. We'll hear from some of the fighters competing in Friday night's PXC 42 event in just a bit. But first off, basketball highlights from the Timunning Gym. Check it out. We get you started with basketball highlights between Team Justice and the Anderson Hawks from the Bud Light Golden Hoops Classic. Roki Charfus with the basket for Justice. The Hawks missing on the deep ball. Number 14, big man Jarvis Edwards getting the put back to go for two points. Joey Rages hustling down court with Ken Charfus with the long pass to Rages for the basket off glass. Anderson's Courtney Goodson running on the break. Goodson pulls up at the free throw line and hits the short jumper. Team Justice went on to beat Anderson in overtime 57-53. to Jay Casimiro with the last score here for Justice. Tyrone Jones and McLean Alfred are set to fight on Friday night in PXC 42. The two fighters are representing the Underworld Extreme Camp looking to follow up on their successful showing in their last fight. Uh, some of the things I've been working on coming out of my last fight, you know, uh, my takedown defense, uh, getting up off my back, uh, and my striking more, you know. And, uh, I think basically, you know, the, that's the three main components you need to, you know, survive in this game. And I worked on them a lot this camp, so I hope you guys see a big difference in my fight game. I've been training hard for this camp, you know. Uh, just came off of a, you know, a good hard fight, my last fight, you know, trained real hard for this fight, so expect a lot from me, Guam. McLean Alfred is coming off a decision win against Saipan fighter Josh Duenas. This time around, Alfred will be taking on another Saipan fighter in Roman Alvarez, who's coming off a big win in PXC 40. It's just been working on everything, just being prepared for wherever the fight goes, standing, grounds, we're ready for whatever. Oh, how to see the fight go, and I'm looking for the finish. Uh, Last fight I went to a decision, uh, really like to finish this fight, you know, got out of the way and keep moving. Uh, of course my opponent's going to think he's bigger and faster than me and he's going to try and come at me, but you know, I'll be ready for whatever. Keeping with news out of PXC 42, today a press conference was held at the PIC Amphitheater. Some of the fighters on the card were in attendance, answering questions from the media. Frank the Crank Camacho will be facing Japan fighter Keitaro Nakamura, who is 26 and 5 as a pro. Keitaro is very well rounded, so I, you know, I can't really have like a one set game plan. I have to be, I have to play the whole game with him. You know, I have to work my takedowns, I have to work my striking, I have to work my feints, I have to work my submissions. I have, I have to defend his takedowns. So it's going to be a very, very interesting fight. Uh, I'm very excited to, uh, to to share the cage with him because. Man, the guy has lots of knowledge and lots of experience, and I can't wait to, to, to leave that cage with all of that. Hawaii fighter Kaylin Curran is back for the third time in PXC. She is 2-0 in the cage and will be facing Korean top team's Yoo Jin Jung, who is making her professional debut. I feel pretty excited um, for Friday night, and it being her pro debut, I mean, I was once there. I know she's hungry, but I'm going to use my experience to my advantage. I've been in the cage now for two professional fights and I'm pretty confident and excited, focused and I, I think I'll know how to stay calm and pick my shots and I just, I'll be more comfortable. Toby Mise will be fighting for the 145 pound championship belt against Jang Yong Kim out of Korean top team. The Hilo fighter says this is just another fight and looks forward to keeping the fight standing. You know, I had BJ Payne come inside while he's been training, helping me. You know, I had JD, his older brother, helping. I had Rasta Ball, Shane Nelson, Mike Aina, you know, Chad Hall, Troy Mandalonis, which all, they all know a lot and, you know, helped me with my skills. Um, we got a bunch of good wrestlers at our gym, so they've been helping me, and i just been drilling, drilling. But, you know, um, I'm comfortable off my back, but... I, rather, I prefer to stand, so wherever the fight goes, I'll be, I'll be good to go. Well, that's going to do it for sports. We're back right after this.